Internationally acclaimed sculptor Kent Ulberg has his artwork displayed all around the world, but the statue most of us are familiar with is the one that welcomes people to the place where he himself lives, Padre Island. And in this week's Island Report, Island Moon publisher Dale Rankin takes a look at how that iconic Marlin statue came to be. You know you've arrived on the island when you come over the bridge and you see this. We call it the Marlin, but where did it come from and how did it get here? It all started in 1988 when world-renowned sculptor and island resident Kent Ulberg and some friends decided that the island needed a landmark, a way to tell people they have arrived on the island. How did the Marlin sculpture come to be? Where did, where did it start? Well, it was actually Nick, Nick Lurick who approached us, you know, approached me as an as a acquaintance, a friend. Right. And uh, he felt we needed some sort of greeting at the entrance to the island, you know, because the island was just starting, getting right. developed, and, and, you know, we, want, we had a presence, you know. And, uh, to let people know they're on the island. Yeah, they're on the island. You just go over the bridge and keep going, but now you've entered our island. But why not a sand crab or a turtle? It had to be, it, a turtle would be the biggest one in the world, and it still would look like a blob. Over the years, thieves stole the copper plaques off the side, naming the people who made it happen. But the marlin remains. A reminder that when you come over the JFK causeway, you have arrived on the island. And the next time you see it, you'll know how it got there and the artist who brought it all together. For 3 News and the Island Moon newspaper, I'm Dale Rankin. And we'll see you on the island. Yeah, I love that statue. It's so pretty. That's right.